Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell joining you today live from the floor of PTC 23 in sunny Honolulu, Hawaii. Yes. Nice place to be. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm honored to introduce my next guest here today, uh, Lisa Marie Maxson, founder and CEO of 10X People. Lisa Marie, welcome. Yeah, welcome to JSA you. TV. It's great being here. Yeah, it's so yeah. great to see you. Like um, you said, it's warm. <laughs> it is, I know, although chilly inside. <laughs> yes, yeah, for sure. Um, but, you know, for those of our viewers, let's just, why don't we start with just a bit of an overview of 10X, what makes you unique as an organization? Well, we simplify our customers' numbering needs. We are all about numbers. Maybe our name kind of gives us away, 10X yeah. people. Uh, but we simplify and give them information for number intelligence using data from our partners like NetNumber. I think yeah. we'll be speaking with them tomorrow. That's right, yeah. Um, it's awesome. And we also simplify their number ordering, inventory, and porting and help them improve their processes and gain efficiencies. Right. All right. Well, and I understand that uh, there's a ma major milestone that you've yes. just celebrated. Today, this year is our 10-year yeah. anniversary. Wow. We are Significant. so excited yeah. about that. The team, we're going to really uh, play it up this year and have a nice chocolate cake. It has to be chocolate. Chocolate cake, yeah. Yes, it has <laughs> yeah. to be chocolate. Yeah. So tell us, what, what of those 10 years, tell us about the journey to get you to, to you the 10-year mark. Yeah, 10 years. We started out working with our customers more on a consulting basis. And then as we started understanding our customers and helping them along their journey, we started creating products. And we have several products in the numbering space, but we don't just stop with those products. Here's our product, you can use it. We keep evolving with them. Each customer has a little bit different way of doing things and we wanna help them continue to be successful and grow and address the market. Yeah, I, and I've also noticed, I, I understand that you have quite a philanthropic focus. Yes, our employees are really excited about their charities. Um, I have epilepsy and I am on the board of the Epilepsy Foundation of Colorado and Wyoming. So very proud to support them. Our team goes on bike rides, but we also support women in tech. We go to food banks. Yeah. And this year we had a really exciting, we adopted one of our employees, uh, goes to a wildlife sanctuary and her family adopted animals. So oh, yeah. this year we adopted Sage. She's a beautiful white uh, tree fox. Oh, wow. So, you know, who See, knows? the tree where, fox. I yeah, love it. So who knows right. where these journeys take you? So yeah. we have a new mascot. That's nice. That's a good yeah. mascot. Um, and so let's let's talk for a second about PTC and, and just your role as a thought leader in the industry. You know, it's it's been a, a, an amazing conference already uh, oh, here. Definitely. We only have a day and a bit left. I can't yes. even believe it. But yes. um what sorts of conversations are you having? What What's your, your key focus? We're talking a lot about numbering data, not just in US and North America, but internationally. A lot of customers are really expanding their footprint. And what's fun about PTC is you get to meet a lot of people that you normally yeah. wouldn't meet. You can go to Europe, but here we get to meet a lot of people from the Pacific area. And so that's true. really nice and uh, we're also talking a lot about numbers and robocalls, and you hear a lot about blocking robocalls and fines that are being, you know, yep. imposed. You know, million do millions of dollars of fines. Uh, but there's also people who want to make robocalls that are legal or call their customers, and they're being blocked. Mm. So how do we get people off the bad list when the numbers are good numbers? Right. Yeah, that's really interesting. That's a good a mm -hmm. good point. I'm sure that's interesting to explore uh, for a lot of people because, yeah, you know, not every call is a bad call. No, Some but you actually want. Right. right. And you don't answer so many of them because right. they're spam, right? right. They say yeah. spam likely. So how do we let the good calls through? Yeah. How do we block the bad players? So. Yeah. Uh, and so from the perspective of 10X, you know, what does the next year look like for you? really excited about this year. We just rolled out a new product, Owl, which has a fun logo. I guess we're sticking with foxes and owls. Maybe right. It's our year That's of the good. animal, yeah. but it is the year of our 10 year anniversary. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to continue to come out and just help our customers with ordering numbers, obtaining numbers, and again, cleaning those numbers. When they bring numbers into their inventory, when they assign them, they need to be sure that 
calls will go through. Yeah. So that's a big focus for us this year. And we're excited. Yeah. Well, Lisa Marie, it's been so great to, to chat with you. Any parting words that you want to share with the folks that, you know, I keep saying not everyone's as fortunate as us to be in Waikiki today, oh, this week. I know. Uh, I wish you were here. Yeah. Um, but if you're not here and you want to reach out to us, we'd love to talk to you about your numbering needs. Uh, we're at 10xpeople.com, the number one, the number zero, X people. Yeah. We're all about our people and uh, we're on LinkedIn as well. So reach out. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for letting me be here with you. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime. You're always welcome here. <laughs> and, and thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV live here on the floor of PTC 23. We'll talk to you next time. Mahalo.